High blood pressure, also called hypertension, is a common problem that affects many people. It occurs when the force of the blood pushing against your artery walls is too high. This puts strain on the heart and can lead to serious problems if left to get worse, such as stroke, heart disease, and kidney disease. Certain things put you more at risk, like smoking, being overweight, poor diet, and having a family history of hypertension. Fortunately, specific vitamins and minerals found in everyday food can quickly make a significant difference to blood pressure. For example, some clinical trials have seen significant improvements in blood pressure within a matter of days based on changes to diet. So today, we'll reveal eight key vitamins and minerals to lower blood pressure, including ways to get them naturally, so you know exactly how to get on track and take control of your health. Plus, we'll reveal a treat food that you may not realize actually helps to normalize blood pressure. But before we dig in, can you do us a favor? Click on the thumbs up and help us spread the word about heart disease prevention and ring the bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. We want to make sure you get the latest info so you can live a long, healthy life. And stick around to find out how to get two heart healthy free gifts. We guarantee both you and your heart will love them. Okay, number eight, potassium. Potassium is the most discussed nutrient when it comes to reducing blood pressure. Likewise, you've probably been told to watch your salt intake if you have high blood pressure. Salt and potassium can be considered as opposing forces, having opposite effects on blood vessels. Potassium acts as a relaxant, loosening blood vessels and lowering blood pressure. In contrast, salt serves as a tightening agent, constricting blood vessels and elevating blood pressure. Studies show that dietary potassium can significantly improve hypertension. A simple top-level rule is to focus on getting enough whole fruits and vegetables in your diet, as well as whole grains and good fish. Particularly rich sources include avocado, banana, mushrooms, leafy greens, tomato, prunes, sweet potato, apricots, salmon, clams, beetroot, and beans. Those are some of the highest potassium foods. But the fact is that many whole foods contain potassium, meaning that the number one key is sticking to a real food diet instead of processed foods. There's a world of delicious options to explore and try new combinations. By getting your vitamins from whole food, you also get plenty of fiber, which has a significant impact on reducing hypertension. Now, there's one thing to note. People with kidney problems may need to be cautious when it comes to potassium intake. If that's you, talk to your healthcare provider about the best steps forward. Number 7. Magnesium Magnesium is essential for keeping your heart healthy and making sure that all your organs are functioning properly. It helps to regulate the amount of calcium and other minerals in cells, which has a knock-on effect for reducing high blood pressure. The recommended daily intake for adults is between 300 and 400 milligrams per day, depending on age and gender. To achieve this goal naturally, eat plenty of nuts, seeds, legumes, fruits, vegetables, fruits, and whole grains. Particularly rich sources of magnesium include avocado, almonds, cashew, and Brazil nuts, chickpeas, lentils, peas, and beans, tofu, flax, chia, and pumpkin seeds, quinoa, buckwheat, and oats, spinach, kale, mustard greens, carrot, and broccoli, bananas, apples, figs, guava, kiwi fruits, papaya, blackberries, and raspberries. And if you're a chocolate lover, we have great news. Dark chocolate is an excellent source of magnesium, with around 15% of your daily needs in a one ounce serving which is normally one square of chocolate. Plus, chocolate contains copper, iron, and flavanols, which help to protect cholesterol from oxidization and improve blood flow. Just be sure to go for 75% cocoa or more, and avoid high sugar chocolates. It's also possible to take supplements if needed, as long as you check with a doctor first. Number 6. Calcium 
Calcium offers several benefits when it comes to managing hypertension. It's important for the renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system, or RAAS, which regulates blood vessel constriction and relaxation, preventing blood pressure that's too high or too low. It's like a control center in your body that keeps your blood pressure at a healthy level. Think of your blood vessels as pipes that carry blood all around your body. The pressure inside these pipes change based on a lot of different factors, including whether you've slept well that day, stress, what you've been eating, exercise, etc. When the pressure gets too high, the RAAS system kicks into action to help bring it back down and calcium keeps this system working optimally. Calcium also interacts with other important vitamin to regulate inflammation systems. And again, inflammation is another important factor when it comes to blood pressure and heart health. We'll get to that one shortly. Finally, calcium is vital for strong and healthy bones. So, how do you make sure you're getting enough? Milk, cheese, and yogurt are popularly known as the queens of calcium, with a single serving containing around 300 milligrams. That's over half of the 500 milligrams per day recommended by the World Health Organization. But did you know that leafy green vegetables such as kale and spinach also have plenty of this nutrient? In fact, one cup has up to 200 milligrams, while collard greens contain a whopping 360 milligrams per 8 ounce serving. Calcium supplements are available, but make sure not to overdo it. Too much calcium from supplements can increase your risk of developing kidney stones. According to Harvard Medical School, high doses of calcium from supplements may promote kidney stone formation. Whereas, high levels of dietary calcium are thought to offer protection against kidney stones. Number 5. Vitamin B12 Feeling sluggish? B12 might help. Vitamin B12 keeps red blood cells healthy and boosts energy, which play a role in managing high blood pressure. It also works with other essential nutrients like folate, calcium, and magnesium to maintain cardiovascular function, and is also vital for brain and nerve health. Foods that are rich in vitamin B12 include meat, poultry, fish, shellfish, eggs, and milk products such as cheese and yogurt. B12 is mainly found in animal-based products, so it can be tricky for vegetarians to get enough. However, a few plant-based foods do contain it, including shiitake mushrooms, lion's mane mushrooms, and edible algae, like green and purple laver. Some vegan foods are also fortified with added B12 such as fortified nutritional yeast, plant-based milks, or fortified breakfast cereals. B12 is particularly important for pregnant women, as it's vital in the early development of babies. Next, we have one of the most important vitamins that you need to eat every day. But first, Heart Disease Code would love to give you a free book, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol, plus the first episode of the untold story of heart disease, something that everyone concerned about heart health should watch. Click the link in the description below to claim these free gifts. Okay, let's get back to the list. Number 4. Vitamin C Vitamin C is extremely important when it comes to heart health. Vitamin C increases levels of nitric oxide in our bodies, which relaxes blood vessels thus allowing more efficient blood flow. This means improved circulation while lowering overall stress on the heart, as well as reducing inflammation that's linked with cholesterol damage. And of course, vitamin C is key to a healthy immune system, preventing infection and allowing all processes in the body to function more efficiently. Now, you probably know that you get a good dose of vitamin C in fruits like oranges, lemons, limes, and kiwi fruit. But did you know that broccoli, spinach, tomatoes, and bell peppers are great sources too? Cabbage, cauliflower, and strawberries also contain high levels. And these are also packed with other beneficial antioxidants and natural compounds that protect the heart and blood. 
Additionally, combining this nutrient alongside others like magnesium and potassium will multiply their benefit as they work synergistically in various ways that support health. Number 3. Vitamin D Vitamin D helps to maintain a healthy immune system, as well as normalizing levels of calcium and phosphate. Too much phosphate can cause problems like heart disease and kidney problems, while too little phosphate can cause bone diseases like rickets and osteomalacia. Vitamin D helps our bodies keep this balance and stay healthy. But did you know that this vitamin may also be linked to reducing high blood pressure? While there isn't a ton of data on the exact mechanism of how this works, a number of studies show that vitamin D deficiency is associated with higher risk of hypertension. And a 2017 study found there is a joint association with low vitamin D and vitamin K status with blood pressure and hypertension. Vitamins D and K are important for our health. Researchers wanted to see if having low levels of both vitamins at the same time could be even worse for our hearts. They studied 402 people over 55 years old and found that those who had low levels of both vitamins had higher blood pressure. They also found that these people had higher chances of getting high blood pressure in the future. So now, let's think about where we can get our daily doses of vitamin D. The best way to get enough vitamin D is through exposure to sunlight, as our skin can make it when we are in the sun. However, we can also get vitamin D from foods like fatty fish, egg yolks, and fortified products like milk and cereal. If needed, supplements can also help. Number 2. Vitamin K As mentioned, vitamin K works synergistically with vitamin D. Vitamin K might not be as well known as vitamin D or C, but it plays a vital role. It also helps to regulate calcium. Calcium is important for strong bones, but when it builds up in our arteries, it can lead to heart disease. Vitamin K helps ensure that calcium is directed to our bones and teeth rather than accumulating in arteries and causing blockages. Researchers found that low levels of vitamin K are linked to a higher risk of heart disease, heart attack, and stroke. But don't worry, getting enough vitamin K is easier than you might think. And it's found in many of the foods we've already discussed. One of the best sources of vitamin K is leafy greens, like spinach, kale, and collard greens. Other sources include broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and fermented foods, like sauerkraut and natto, a traditional Japanese food made from fermented soybeans. Vitamin K is also found in animal products like eggs, cheese, and chicken. Number 1. Vitamin E That's right, vitamin E is not only great for your skin and hair, but it also helps regulate blood pressure. Essentially, vitamin E acts as an antioxidant that prevents the oxidization of LDL cholesterol, which is a major contributor to high blood pressure. By reducing the amount of oxidized LDL in your bloodstream, vitamin E helps promote healthy blood flow and maintain optimal blood pressure levels, as well as protecting arteries from atherosclerosis. Vitamin E is abundant in nature, so if you're eating a diet plenty of whole foods, you should be getting enough. Some of the best sources of vitamin E include nuts and seeds, as well as leafy greens, cruciferous vegetables, seafood, berries, kiwi fruit, and avocado. If you're looking for a supplement, make sure to talk to your doctor first. While vitamin E is generally safe in small doses, taking too much can be harmful, especially if you're taking blood thinners. So, there you have it, 8 vitamins and minerals to lower blood pressure, as well as foods to help you get more of them. Number 8, Potassium Number 7, Magnesium Number 6, Calcium Number 5, Vitamin B12 Number 4, Vitamin C Number 3, Vitamin D Number 2, Vitamin K Number 1, Vitamin E Eating less processed foods and more whole foods can dramatically increase your intake of these beneficial compounds and can make a huge difference to normalizing blood pressure. We hope you found today's video useful and we would love to hear from you. 
please leave us a comment and let us know if you enjoyed this video, as well as any other topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. And remember to get your two free gifts, the surprising truth about fat and cholesterol, and the first episode of the untold story of heart disease. Just click the link in the description below to get them. And remember to like this video and click the subscribe button. It really does help, so that you can stay up to date as we release new videos. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you have a happy and heart healthy day.